Hello, it's John Shopkeep Arty, and today we've got a very special video where we're going to be talking to uh, Krista Kojan. <laughs> I knew I'd get that wrong. I, I, I practiced it about three times before going going live on this, but um, anyway. Uh, and um, Krista has set up a shop using our platform. It's really interesting, and I wanted to. Uh, find out a little bit more about what inspires Krista, her journey within art and about some of her paintings that she has created and that you are able to purchase in, in uh, as a print or uh, within certain items on her shop and we'll, a little bit more about that later. So Krista, welcome. Hello. Uh, hello, John. Uh, nice to hear you. And uh, I understand you followed us for a while and you watch some of our art shows, but um, you're based in Hungary. Yes, I actually live in Hungary in a little town near the Austrian border. It, my town is called Schopran. It is a medieval old town and <laughs> I'm, I'm watching you from Hungary. <laughs> oh, no, that's lovely. That's lovely. I love those little cobbled streets and the little coffee shops where you can just go and have a, a fantastic. Um, and I can see some of the art behind you as well on your. So what, what got you into art originally? How long have you been painting for? Well, I'm actually not a professional artist. Um, and um, after my my kids are grown up, uh, I I already had time to paint. I always had a wish to 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 create something, and uh, in the last couple of years, I started to improve my art. Uh, and yeah, since since four or five years, I'm painting seriously. Right, Bef right. Before I used to paint princesses and teddy bears and uh, cars for my kids. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And actually, talking about your kids, that's sort of where the name for your business came from, Cricks Cracks. And uh, so explain that story. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. My my nephew couldn't uh, pronounce my name, Krista, and they said something like Cricks Cracks. And I thought that is about something painting or drawing and <laughs> so it is a good name for yeah it's lovely business. it's very it's very catchy i love it i love it um yes i had problems pronouncing your name at the start as well i should have just said cricks cracks it would have been easier wouldn't it now you have um set up a shop on our on our platform uh with some of your paintings and you've got a number of different prints that people can order uh, around the world and um, of different sizes so depending on uh, what you'd like but maybe you can just uh, take us through some of the some of the paintings that so I can see first of all on your home page you've got stream you've called it wh wh whereabouts was that stream that you you painted uh, that is in the in the forest around our town it, it's just behind me, that that one. One in the middle. Uh, in the middle. Uh, and it was in the spring. I I was walking down there and uh, yeah, I I just keep catching up the what I see and uh, start to create the mood what I feel. That was early in the spring. Wow. Um, yeah, well, it's lovely. You've caught the colours really well. And the other one that really struck me was um, downtown morning um, with the bicycle uh, leaning against the, the uh, whereabout was that in your in It, your it was in, in the downtown in, in, in our, our town. Um, it is a, a three, four hundred years old house and uh, with the little little door gate and uh, i was just biking there and the the sunshine came so funny in under the arches and i i just wanted to capture that that early morning feeling yeah and um next to that you've got a uh, vineyard as well which uh really the autumnal or the, the sun coming over the the, the uh, the rise it's captured the sun really well uh, in in our town is uh, very important the the vine it is a the vine uh, estate or how to say it in english uh, we've got the blau frankish vine which is very uh, famous here 
and uh, yeah, I love walking there in the autumn. Yeah, no, it looks it looks beautiful. Um, and uh, now, very different, um, but you created a cushion out of this, but paddle boats. Uh, the, the, <laughs> so was that somewhere, was that on holiday or something? Or yeah, what? That, that was uh, also in Hungary at Lake Balaton. Uh, and well, I had the holidays, and uh, uh, so I, I made that that painting about the paddle boats and yeah. the reflections and the, the hot summer light. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's really fun. Um, now, obviously, you've got eight items that you featured on your homepage, but if you click the shop pages or or at the bottom, you can go into um, other items, so you can have a look at all the prints that. Uh, are on offer and um, one there uh, which is Sopron view um, so that's a view of is that where you Shop, live obviously it, it, Shopron, yeah. Shopran sorry Shopran sorry Shopran uh, uh, um, and I love how you've captured the light behind the I guess that's a church um, oh, well that th th is a fire tower oh is it a fire tower right okay and the, the way that you've caught the light behind it, it's sort of reminiscent a little bit of uh, um, how Van Gogh uh, <laughs> creates the, uh, the starry night. Uh, but uh, I've got two ears. I'm not Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, that's a lovely. And did you actually, is there a position that you, because it looks like you're quite above the rooftops there. Was yeah. there actually a position that you could take that photo? Well, uh, the town is in the valley, and uh, all around you can go up in the in the hills. And there is a terrace of a hotel where I I took the photo and and made that painting. And Lovely. So many many little spots are around the town. You can catch the similar view yes. from above above the town. Now, going a little bit abstract, I can see that, that um, the it's a very vibrant red and reflections, the splendor that you <laughs> titled it. So um, I guess, was this in oil or acrylic or? It's, it is in acrylic. Uh, well, I, as I'm quite new in the artist world, I, I just try to, to find out what can I do with the different medium and uh, well i'm just learning and i just had to try at uh, what abstract and uh, sometimes it's not very good <laughs> well i think i think this looks uh, amazing i think in the right setting in the right room with the sort of colors that you've used in it it really captures the light i think you've captured the light really well in your painting so um it looks uh, really lovely um and obviously not only have you got the prints for sale but you've also got a, a range of gifts which so even if somebody wants to just order a, a ceramic mug or something like that to, to brighten up their day with their cup of tea <laughs> or something it, that's lovely and there may be some other items on their way i guess because the the you may do some gift cards in the future or um things like that have you considered other um other gifts or other items that you might sell might you sell your originals as well at some point uh well uh, it is not easy to to uh, shift from hungary so uh, i've never done things like this <laughs> I, i don't know how to package it and so it seemed easy to leave just it do to a you. print rather than <laughs> yes yes no I, i i get it i get it well you know the, the point is it gives you the option that maybe at some point you might be able to do that but um yeah. and um i i think also maybe um i don't know whether you saw but you can create uh beach towels with um your art and maybe something like especially like the paddle boats or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that with, can be fun yeah <laughs> it might be fun yeah maybe yeah, yeah. maybe give that some uh consideration as well yeah. well i it's been it's been lovely to have a look at your art it's been fascinating to hear about um your journey with it what what were you doing before doing art more seriously what were, were you in well, a... i'm not before but uh, still i'm i'm a physician ah. i work <laughs> i work in a in a small clinic doing internal medicine and cardiology 
so I'm a doctor and uh, this is my free time job. Well, and... that's lovely. That's lovely. So yeah, that's that's fascinating. I, I it's always interesting to see what people do uh, in their real, you know, their, their real <laughs> in my job. real life. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, that's really great. And you've 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 built a lovely shop and it looks it's got a really lovely feel to it. And I love I love the way that you have captured the colours and the vibrancy of the town and the light. And uh, it's it's really lovely to meet you. And I, I, I hope that um, we'll see more things. We'll feature you on our our shop page on our website as well so that other people can go and have a little look. And if you are interested in ordering ordering anything uh, from Cricks Cracks, <laughs> then you can have a look at the shop there on our um, our shops page on our website. So um, thank you so much for your time, uh, Krista. It's been fantastic to find out more about your art and your uh, journey and uh, look forward to watching out what happens in the future as your shop grows. Thank you, John. Thank you. That was really great <laughs> to have you here. No, <laughs> oh, it's been room. lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Yeah, Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.